Ah, the joys of van life. We've been having battery problems, as in the battery's always running right down. We've managed. We've had a few jump starts of people and I've jump started it by rolling down a hill, but I think it's time to sort it out. One guy mentioned that the battery may be too small for a van. Um, I mean, the battery's not even secured, so it could be that. It could be losing contact. But either way, um, Rodolfo, who is married to Nita, Marina's auntie, who lives in this little complex here, is uh, he's uh, just rung his mechanic friends. So. We don't panic, we don't worry. There's always a solution. There's always someone to help. Because that's what the universe does, it helps. Money helps as well. Like. I think what I'm trying to say is we always seem to break down in the right places. We always seem to have somebody who can help us. In this case, good old Rodolfo. Maybe one day our uh, luck will run out. But as it stands, luck is on our side. No one said it was going to be easy. So uh, finally after um, a good week and a couple of days we are leaving Pachenza. Um I've really enjoyed my stay right next to the train station. Have you Marina? Loved it. We've met family, uh, yeah. friends. And in honour of this post apocalyptic scenery I bought myself. What do you call them? Marina's bought these boots, and I said that they look like something from Mad Max 3. And um, I said you have no sense of style. Um, we're going to go to... Turin. Turin. We're off to Turin. It's about three and a half hours drive. And, um, oh, guess what? We're going to be meeting another one of Marina's friends who came to our wedding. We're doing like a little tour, people who came to our wedding. Ah, so. Wait, all my friends came to my wedding. Oh, yeah. Our wedding. So yes, off we go. Turin bound. We've come to say goodbye to Frank and Lou. The grandparents of Marina, Hello. Louisa, okay. Lovely to see you next time. Always look at the bright side of life. Always look at the bright side of life. Especially when you're wearing those boots, Marina. I introduced Marina to Monty Python the other night. She's never seen Monty Python, anything. So uh, I made her watch Life of Brian, so. Here is Brian. From now on, this guy is Brian.
pre-Alps. Kind of like the Alps, but before them. They're the, smaller. They're smaller. But we're getting to that point now in the trip. We're going through Turin and uh, into the hills to see Mara. We've survived bad weather, tornadoes, Italian women. Silly bints. Silly bints. So yeah, we're on our way, pasture in, all good, ciao. in the mountains today as you can see it's absolutely beautiful um, nice to see some snow well kind of I'm really proud of Marina because she, she struggles with these kind of things and she's she's managed to get up here so well done wife, love you. Okay, so we are at an altitude of 1,800 meters, um, which is higher than Ben Nevis by loads. <clears throat> I'll put it in feet for you guys in the UK. But it's beautiful man, beautiful. Uh, Marina's resorted to uh, drinking snow because I forgot the water. Is it fresh? Oh, fantastic. Try it. Uh, I'm really proud of you, Marina. I'm Thank sorry you. for being a pain in the ass, but was it worth it? Look how beautiful it is. Yes, it was. So we came here with uh, Maura and Roberto. And you're eating frozen sandwiches? Are they frozen? This is how the locals get around.
Um, mountains are good. To ills are alive with the sound of t music. Remember, children, never eat yellow snow. <laughs>